Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. Now, in this video series, this is all about special right triangles. Now, I want you to look at this uh, list here of what I've got. In this series, we're going to talk about 45, 45, 90 triangles and 30, 60, 90 triangles. Uh, I'm going to give you a few practice problems to try and some problem sets, and then we'll finish with a self quiz. So, get a piece of paper, possibly a calculator, and let's do it. All right, let's get started. The very first type of special right triangle is called 45, 45, 90. And what I want you to remember about this kind of triangle is that it always comes from a square. So we take a square and we slice through it halfway through the diagonal. And now we have two 45, 45, 90 triangles. Now, because it's a square, we know that all four sides are congruent lengths. And we know that those are all right angles in the corner. We also know that the diagonal of a square dissects, splits equally in half that angle right there. So we know that each of these has to be 45 degrees. And the same on the bottom part. So therefore, we have two 45, 45, 90 degree angles triangles. Now this also means in this special kind of right triangle that each of these um, parts of the triangle are legs. and They are congruent to each other. And the hypotenuse, of course, is the longest side across from the right angle. Now, because of the Pythagorean theorem and knowing that these two legs are congruent, let's take the measurement of one of the legs. Let's say it's 5. Okay, If you know one leg of this triangle is 5, you know the other leg is also 5. And it so happens that the hypotenuse is 5 radical 2. All right? Which means that the hypotenuse is always radical 2 times longer. Now radical 2 is about 1.4 so think of it as about one and a half times as long. You know the hypotenuse is definitely the longest side of this triangle but it happens to be about 1.4 almost 1.5 times longer. So that radical 2 comes into play a lot when we are working with this kind of triangle. Similarly let's say that the leg is 10. The other leg of course would also be 10 and the hypotenuse would be 10 radical 2. Again, the hypotenuse is radical 2 times longer than either of the legs. All right, let's look at a couple of problem examples. All right, as we look at number 1, you notice that one of the angles is labeled 45. That means because this is 90, the other angle has to be 45. And it's our special 45, 45, 90 triangle. Now we're trying to find the length of n and m, and it's pretty simple, of course, because 9 is a leg, n has to be the other leg, it's equal, and m is 9 radical 2, okay? So, a good, simple example to start with. Now, let's go ahead and go to number 2. Here the hypotenuse is 8 radical 2, so if we divide that by radical 2, that means each of the legs, x and y, have to be 8, all right? Simple as that. Now in the next video, make sure that you um, check it out. It's a problem set working with this kind of a triangle. I'm going to have you try four examples and see how well you know it. Thanks for watching. All right, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard and take care.